Happy Friday, everyone. We made it to Friday. Cheers. So it is November 20th and Fridays are my day off from my day job. And I usually reserve this day to work on my business. Um, so I do run like a photography business on the side. And yeah, so Fridays really depend on what I, what kind of client work I have to do and all of that stuff. So um, today is a mix of filming. Yay, I'm gonna vlog my day. And also I need to do some photo shoot planning. I have two shoots, two client shoots that I need to do um, by the end of the month and get that all sent off. So I'm gonna be planning the shoots today. Um, and kind of walk you through that process. I also got my desk. My desk actually arrived yesterday. So we're gonna put that together. So that's on the docket today. I've made a whole like <laughs> to-do list as well uh, in my Simplify Planner, which actually got a little overwhelming because I mapped out like all of the vlog content that I wanna get today because that's how my brain works. I need to kind of organize like the order that I'm going to be doing things. So when I go to make my vlog, it makes a little bit more sense than just, you know, different chunks of clips together uh, because we're telling a story here. So then I got a little overwhelmed with my to-do list because it was like just, just a bunch of different stuff and there's so much going on here. I need the kind of like white space. So I actually transferred my to-do list to just a clean sheet of paper. So I have two working to-do lists. I do this a lot because I often get overwhelmed with like my planner to-do list. So let's go through my to-do list. So I've already, um, I needed to just check and reply to some of my like day job emails, which I've already done. And next up is filming my desk unboxing and putting that together. And then once I get that all set up, I think I'll be able to sit at my desk and do some more um, work. I need to do like business admin. I need to check my emails. I haven't been in my inbox for over a week. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of emails <laughs> in there. And I need to do, um, probably get, try to get some bookkeeping in as well and client shoot planning. And then I also need to buy some props and backdrops for my shoots. Um, so I think I'll take you on a little shopping trip when I figure out exactly what I need to buy. And that's kind of the day. So that's exciting. Let's go put my desk together because I've been waiting literally all week for this. Yay. All right, this is the current state of my office space. I share this room with my partner and his stuff is over this way and I won't show it because privacy and all that. So basically I've been using this brown table right here, which doesn't really, it's not meant to be a desk. It's more of like a literal like table. As you can see this pulls up. So that's what I've been using. If you've seen my like work vlogs, you've seen this table before, but it just is not a desk. And also I wanted a white desk so I can brighten up the room a little bit. The walls are red, not my favorite, but I think having white furniture in here definitely brightens the room up, hence putting the bookshelf. And I think having my desk there and maybe putting something on the wall will definitely help. Let's unbox, put my desk together, and get this rolling. <laughs> is together so here's the full view with the desk in place and I think yes it definitely brightens the room up like so much I think my next task will fill figuring out what to put in this wall space um, maybe getting some white shelves or something so let me know your suggestions down below of what you would put in this space right here yeah, this is the desktop and actually 
it works really well. Like I'm the kind of person that needs a lot of space to put like everything out. Plus when I work on my day job, I need to have like my, a second monitor up here, which I think will definitely work when I'm doing day job stuff. But when I'm not using the monitor, like this is plenty of space for me. Plus I can hide things in the drawer to get stuff off the tabletop. So I still have space to do stuff. All right, so now that the desk is put together, I'm going to work on business admin, emails, bookkeeping, all of that stuff for probably less than an hour and then lunch and move on to afternoon things. Day. I am planning my shoots right now and trying to make a shopping list of various things that I need and where I need to go. So this is going to be very organized, um, but let me show you what I'm working with. For all my shoots, I lay everything out in a Google Doc because if I'm not organized, I just don't know what's going on. So for my particular client, Carla, I need to shoot some holiday scenes. So I have my props for the holiday scenes and then I need just some minimal nursery room scenes and also a camping scene. So I have everything laid out in terms of the types of props that <laughs> I want to get. So I've been shopping and looking at like Target, Michaels, and Amazon to figure out um, basically my shopping list. And then I've also been kind of, so I do things digitally and also on paper, whatever way my brain works. So I kind of listed everything out here. Today's shopping trip is going to include many different places, so get ready for that. But that's kind of the situation right now. And then I'm also pulling inspiration from her Pinterest board um, for all of the different scenes, such as holiday mugs that she's selling. She has prints up in her Etsy shop as well. And I'm also looking at her Etsy shop to get an idea of um, colors and vibes and stuff like that. So I also have everything mapped out in my notes app so I can just look at it on my phone real quick when I'm like shopping. So this kind of gives you a little bit insight, insight into my brain. So organizing my like shopping list this way helps me when I'm like out. Um, so I don't forget something or I don't spend forever trying to think of something. So this has really helped me over the past year with getting props for clients, especially when I have different kind of s scenes that I want to create. Um, this has helped. All right, everyone, it is much later. I had lunch and was relaxing a little bit, but now we're gonna go shopping. Get ready. I have a whole like written out list of the three places that I need to go to and what I'm looking for at those places. Um, TJ Maxx, Michaels, and Target. So we'll be going to all three places. And I know if you've watched my like goal setting videos, you know that I'm trying to have a no spend week this month. And today, or this week was like my intended no spend week um but i don't know if i'm i don't know i'm gonna be honest with you guys like the since i'm actually going out and going to be in these places and i don't shop very often just because of how life is um i might break my no spend goal just because um i need to get christmas gifts and i need to get a new planner and just other little things that i might need We'll see. I am going to be really focused on buying business stuff and using my business card for that. But in terms of personal things, I might break the no spend goal. November is just, November, December are just not really good times to have a no spend month. And I just, or no spend week or just any kind of no spend. Um, I think if I clarify no spend to like not eating out, that might be a little bit better because I'm trying to really be good at not eating out very often. So I really am trying not to eat out and spend money on food unless it's groceries. But I might buy some home stuff and hopefully a planner because I really want to get a planner before they're all gone. Let's go on our shopping trip.
Maxx run is done. I didn't get everything on my TJ Maxx list, but I got a good amount of things. Um, so I'm going to go to Michael's next. I think I'll be able to find um, some more stuff there, like crafty things. I need to get some yarn and I'm looking for a light brown frame, which apparently is really hard to find. If I don't have to go to Target, I would be happy because then that's one less place that I need to go. I'm really tempted to go to Home Goods or a Marshalls to try and find a planner. The planner selection at TJ Maxx was crapola. Um, there was not really that much of a selection, nor were there any of the layouts that I want, unfortunately. So I'm gonna keep looking and find one eventually. <laughs> later after the shopping trip and I wanted to show briefly show what I got so for let's just start with Michaels I found yarn which I needed random some brown envelopes which was on my list and these cute little brown gift tag and they're having a frame sale so I ended up finding the light brown frame that I was looking for but they're having like a buy one get two free sale which is like crazy so I ended up just getting an 8x10 of the same color and a 5x7 4x6 I don't know <laughs> what I'm going to use these for I figured I'd keep it all brown in case I needed to use it for a client or I could just use these for my own um, room or I could put them in my new office once maybe if I get a shelf or something so that was really nice. TJ Maxx I found a lot of stuff there so what did I find? I found a new plant friend which is super exciting. So the plant was not on my list, my to buy list, but I've been wanting to have like a, a separate like a new fake plant for a lot of my stock shoots so this one just really caught my eye I really love the pot that it's in it's very neutral color and I think this will really work well for a Carla shoot that I'm planning as well and it would just be cute to sit on my desk so I got him he was $9.99 I found a like cream scarf that was on my list for my photo props because I want to kind of use this as um, to lay prop lay like the products on that I'm shooting and this is also good for just having like texture if you're doing flat lays or anything like that and it's a nice neutral color so it's not totally white but it's like still a light lighter color which will photograph very well. I also found some Christmas cards that I'm excited about so I'm gonna be doing vlogmas this year tell all your friends and I want to do one of my vlogmas days I want to film myself writing letters um, like, or writing Christmas cards and sending those out I think this year is a great time to send letter to send mail out to people because of the pandemic and I think it'll be a nice and affordable way to spread some holiday cheer so I got one that has um, these penguin guys on it and one that's like this um farmhouse by the ray dunn thing which i thought was super cute so love these i found fairy lights which i was looking for for my shoots so i'm gonna kind of put these in the backdrop so i you can get that kind of like light like backdrop effect on your like prop my product shots i also forgot that i got this little christmas notepad for my mom we have a dachshund we love dachshunds so i think this will be a cute thing for her i think that wraps up tj maxx now on to home goods i found this like display of mugs and i got this for my dad so my dad's a golfer and i thought it was the cutest thing best dad by par and it has this little notepad with a golf club shaped pen which I just think so funny my dad will love this I found this glass tumbler I've been wanting a tumbler like for my iced coffee to take to work 
some because I've just been using a mason jar that doesn't have like a very good lid so spills are very prone and the irony of this whole situation is that my work has officially closed down until the end of the month um, to per for co because of COVID restrictions. We have new, new restrictions in the city of Philadelphia, so my work is adhering to them, which is great, but now I won't be commuting to work. And side note, I'll be having a lot more work from home <laughs> content over the next few weeks as I adjust to working from home. Um, again so keep an eye out for those videos but i love this little tumbler when i do need to go to work and travel and all of that fun stuff and last but not least is my planner home goods had a really good planner selection they had different types of planners but they had a lot of like this size which is what size is this it's an 8x10 so it's not like super small but i like it because i have bigger space to write on. This is actually the same exact planner that I have for this year, so if you've been watching my plan with me videos or any of my vlogs, you've seen this planner. I've been getting lots of comments on it um, about where I got it and all of that. A lot of you seem to like the layout. I love the layout too, so I wanted to try and find the same one. I got this at TJ Maxx last year, so I knew that's why I've been very <laughs> zoned in on finding a planner at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods or whatever, all of those stores. There was so many different cover cover options at Home Goods, and the funny thing is I didn't like any of them. And the other problem was that some of them looked had the same like 8x10 size and looked the same, but they didn't have the layout that I wanted. They had just like a full like day spread. There wasn't a weekly um, weekly spread on one side and then kind of like a note section on the other side which is what I'm really looking for and but I started searching I was looking through every literally every single um, planner and then I realized some of them had this layout um, so it was really you had to really look through every single one so then I had to figure out which ones had the layout I wanted I got those all together in my cart and then I had to decide on which cover I wanted and I actually did not like any of the covers um, but I settled on this floral print just because I like the light blue and the pink I would have preferred like a solid color like which is why I went with black last year um, but I am excited that I'm going for a brighter color um, <laughs> this year instead of the black but I wanted a plain color I think I'll also keep looking um, because you know TJ Maxx they change their their inventory is always changing they're always getting new stuff so I think if I like I'm going to be going back to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and all those stores to do some more Christmas shopping so I'm going to keep my eye out on planners and I can return this um, exchange it if I need to but I just wanted to grab it now so I had it and I would know that I had a 2021 planner in case I just couldn't find one and it was the end of the year and it's the it's the layout that I wanted which I think is the most important thing and maybe the cover the cover will grow on me so you'll be seeing this a lot next year in my videos yay that was my video I hope you enjoyed watching me unbox my desk and put that together I'm so happy with my desk I love it so much and can't wait to actually work in my office more um, i hope you enjoyed the shopping trip and the little mini haul let me know down below how your day's going your week's going if you're starting christmas shopping or if you're waiting or if you don't celebrate christmas that's cool too make sure to like this video it'll tell me that you want to see more vlogs and organizing and shopping haul type things and make sure to subscribe to this channel as well if you want to join the community and be my internet friend so until next time thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one